All right, hello, hello. Let's begin. Let's see what sign this is for. Okay, uh, Mars under there. So uh, Mars being activated. This is passion, action. There's also Aries, Scorpio, uh, Libra energy. Um, so Mars underneath there. So this could also be anger. Sagittarius is in reverse. So in that section and that i would say there's anger with that jupiter in reverse to 9 18 maybe something happens during that time 9 9 you got the the 18 no the 17 18 9 17 and 9 7 18 so, so during virgo season okay dealing with sagittarius uh it's in reverse so maybe um We'll just see. This is, might be some a bit of anger regarding uh, a trip or learning, education, something like this. Saturn. Okay, so some Capricorn, Saturn energy. It fell by these crystals, so I'm going to leave that there. I will shuffle it until I get an actual zodiac sign. Okay, I got water signs and Uranus. Oh my gosh, this is too many, guys. Water, moon, and specifically, yeah, so... It could actually just be your Pisces. Um, there's a 10 here again. There's also Aquarius energy. And Pi no way. What's up, Pisces? Pisces. <laughs> I find this fascinating. See, you got Pisces. I was like, maybe it's Pisces. Pisces was like behind it. I'm like, you got water signs, moon in reverse, uh, Uranus, and then there's Pisces. Hello. Okay. Pisces. Um, so I've already done a video for you. Maybe this is a different set of Pisces. Maybe this is really about the moon while it's going through Pisces. Um, the moon's in reverse here. So this is also a Cancer energy. And then we've got um, Aquarius or something online, something weirdest thing so pisces your card is the moon i also see this as the cancer sign usually i'll call the neptune is yours so you could also just have a water uh moon water a lot of water in your chart rising uh sun sign moon sign pisces and cancer or double pisces i'm also seeing the moon in reverse here and then uranus so this is something that you couldn't anticipate Uranus is always expecting the unexpected, something you didn't see coming, maybe flips you upside down. Maybe these emotions. She looks angry. I've never really looked at this, but she, this is definitely feminine energy and she looks very angry. Like, there's a very, uh, pointed chin, very defined. Sorry, I'm just looking at. She looks super skinny too. Huh. There's the blue eyes on both of them. Okay, interesting. Okay, Pisces, I was just checking these out. So mainly making these Pisces, I might bring up, I don't see uh, Scorpionic with this. I'm just gonna leave it. Let's see, put Uranus there. It's propping these up a little bit. So Pisces. Oh, no way. Okay, these two other cards. So, Cancer signs. So, definitely the Cancer, but Libra. You just did a Libra video, so you could have these in your chart. So, water signs, specifically Cancer and Pisces. Uh, the other signs involved are air for you. There is a little bit of Earth with Saturn, and it just fell only on this little crystal energy, which is about structure, guidance, maybe feeling restricted, rule, order, laws, um, father energy, then you got mother energy. Interesting. Okay, so if you're the Libra and the moon, 
came in reverse. So the Libra sign, the Cancer's upright. Um, so some of you, vice versa, you could be a Libra or an Aquarius is what I'm seeing, or a Capricorn with a Pisces or Cancer moon. So I'm not going to split it up. Um, I'm just going to pull the cards and see Pisces and Cancer. And maybe it's also during this Libra season. So let me look at the numbers. I got 414, so even Aries season. You got 74, 714, Cancers, 724, so shifting into the Leo, 719, 419, uh, 1214, 124, so we've got some Sagittarius, 1224, Capricorn, uh, Uranus is 20, 1220, 1224, uh, 1219, 12, 7, 7, 12. So those are all the numbers, birthdays, whatever you want. I'm just, I just call them out as I see them. I'm going to put the zodiac signs away. But yeah, Sagittarius is definitely, maybe you have this or you're dealing with them. Okay, Pisces, I'm not putting Sagittarius in the, in the video. But this is also, I'm saying, like, letting things go. Um, let, like, Jupiter's in reverse with this. So this is even um, letting go of, like, letting go of your weight, uh, personal, um, Baggage, 9 9. Yeah, I come a big release, 9 18, 9 23. Even that shift into Libra season, um, that fire energy is in reverse. The communication, everything is upside down with this. Like things are not how they used to be, or something. There's topsy turvy. Someone's, it's like things kind of changed. There is communication, but the chatter is about different things even about losing weight or letting go of certain belief systems, cultures, like things slowing down. Huh, okay, I'm gonna grab tea leaves, I'm gonna throw some tea leaves around and then some tarot. So as you can see, I shuffled all these, I split them into little piles, I got bare. So danger, danger, especially in money matters. So regarding your finances, there might be danger with this 731 I saw that so dealing with Leo energy okay um also the bear for me is that mama bear energy so the moon the cancer energy so pay attention to your finances there's the ram someone is stubborn so you've got the Aries cancer energy right here stubborn and aggressive affairs with your family so these are people that are in your family this is what I'm seeing family issues with Aries, Cancers, Leos, stubborn, be wise. Okay, that's what I see. Regarding that, okay, Pisces, Cancers. All right, there is spiritual love. So let's start with that. Even this is might might be something you you couldn't ex uh, anticipate. Uh, this is something that might be very shocking to to feel it. A spiritual love, a spiritual connection, even with um, Uranus <laughs> or Aquarius energy. Okay. The bow, you're highly thought of. This is so interesting because this comes in a lot for the cancer energy. A spiritual love. There's a lot of care and love there. It's for some of you Pisces. For me personally, as a Libra, and since Libra is in this, and I'm not going to put that in the title, um, or it's during that season, the spiritual love is even um, like grandmother, grandfather. It's a, something more like this. When I see a spiritual love, it's a bond um, that it doesn't have to be it's not romantic it's family to a spiritual bond and sometimes we can feel that with people who aren't in our family you know if something important such as a new job or a raise so Pisces I'm just saying there was exciting stuff in this last video that I just recently did so if you've not watched that one do check that out it's all about new experiences some new nine five even 
and as today as I'm doing this. So especially for dealing with the moon, the cancer energy, moon and cancer, or dealing with Aries or something like that. Because I also see, you know, 4, 5, 4, 14. Something important, a new job or raise. That's sitting there with that. And I'll get spirit animal with that. And one final one. A ring. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a commitment. Um, so this ring can represent a marriage of some sort, whether it be romantic or business. Um, so that's very specific, right? So when you're getting this, there's a new job or raise. And so I'm saying this is like a contract or a commitment, a new job, um, a new commitment during this time, especially for the water, whether you be cancer or Pisces. What else? Sun, sun, sunshine. I'm all sunshine. A sun sign. Maybe that's specific for the sun signs, but also there's Leo energy with this because there's happiness and well-being underneath that. You're on the road to success. Happiness and well-being. Yeah, Pisces, you had a really good, good energy. Highly sought after, or highly thought after on the road to success, even with your career, the, you're, you're climbing this mountain road here, um, this new job, this race, and there's this deep personal strength and peace because you reach the valley on this journey it's, and no way and then coins. So definitely talking about finances and career with this money will be coming to you, um, Oh my gosh. And then of course there's, it's so funny. There's always gossip after the money comes in, even about this new business, a ring, maybe receiving, you know what I mean? Uh, some type of commitment contract, the ring, but then there's gossip, a younger woman, and it could be a younger woman gossiping, or you are the younger woman, whatever. Cause we got them both together. Someone gossip about your secrets, a younger woman, the moon changes in your life at the moon. So Cancer, Pisces, and no way, and you got man, firecracker. There's excitement at this, the, something happening at the full moon. I'm not sure when that is. It's, I'm pretty sure the full moon's gonna be in Aries. Oh, there is too much concern about sexual matters and excitement. <laughs> Hearing good news. A new home, a new attitude, bro. Someone even waiting for news, package or letter. Oh, but we do have, there is sorrow underneath there. This is about something trying to work against you and keep you in. And with this, so I'm just seeing this younger woman person. I'm seeing these hazel brown eyes. And I mean, the teardrops are in that, but I'm also seeing it with that. Let me look at them. The man, the man's eyes are different. It's definitely a feminine. Um, so a distant friend far away is thinking of you. Dog far away. There's a bridge, like a sex successfully overcoming an issue. Dealing with a stubborn, aggressive person could be an Aries, someone in your family who's just stubborn. I'm also seeing it as being a younger woman. This is kind of immaturity. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm saying this is like a teenage energy of thinking a know-it-all, even though they're they're young. You know, if you've been that age, you know, we used to all think we knew. So you need to pay attention to your health. Maybe it has something to do with your family history, family health. Do you know what I mean? Some genetic things that go in the family. Um, and more money. Now we got a money path waiting for you. This older woman. Dealings or relationship with an older woman. And that's where we've got the bear and danger with your finances. There could be great worry over nothing. Hmm. Very interesting. That's what I got with those tea leaves. Setting them off to the side and grabbing some tarot for the Pisces 1434 underneath that. Someone does not feel like they have uh, won a battle, literally. Not feeling victorious. Um, you're them, right? 
feeling defeated, clearly, very feeling very defeated about something. What is this about? Uh, heartbreak. Oh my gosh. Something could have happened in June or regarding, I mean, that's your birthday for some of you, the cancer season, sorry. But uh, Gemini, uh, it could have been about community, uh, conversations with neighbors. There could have been, there's third party energy of it. And something, someone's heartbroken. Whatever is going on, this is, it's, it's heartbreaking. These fights, these arguments, someone else. I don't see the deception in it, but this is why someone feels very um, wounded and unvictorious. It's upright, so this is fresh, right? This is fresh. What's this, three of swords? High priestess in reverse. Someone sharing someone's secrets. Someone not committed to something, leaving. King of Cups in reverse. Pisces. Cancers. There's also with this High Priestess, there is the Libra energy. Um, there is Taurus Gemini. Virgo. I'm just looking. I'm just... What's behind this one? We got a lot of Taurus. So in this one, the Taurus energy um, is committed leader. This is also someone in your, maybe in your community that you look up to, to get guidance. It, seriously, I'm just saying that like, okay, someone is looking towards to me, I don't know why Hierophant is always, this is even a spiritual leader or someone, right? Someone who's independent, who is grounded in reality. Um, I always, Hierophant to me is always a Taurus energy. Let's see if there's an four or five. So there is some Cancer and Leo with this too. Five, six, five, six Taurus. 4-4, four, four. someone 44, 45, 43. I did see 4-3 and 42. So someone is uh, holding on. It's like someone's holding on to boredom and apathy or saving money. And this is leading to me uh, bored because not being able to go out and enjoy life, spend money on you know the finer things. But this is about also being committed and following, being wise with the finances, okay? So, because finances were there. Yeah, five of coins, five full and four of coins and four of cups. Someone might be in a financial bind, a saving money, hoarding money. They might have lost money. Um after graduation there might have been a sense of moving on and moving forward and actually putting themselves out in the cold or feeling that way like someone left someone graduated and now someone is feels left out in the cold they moved on they got out of some type of depression sadness the love is in reverse with this. Someone looking at options. The boss is upright, trying to just handle stuff. Why is there options? It's immature. It's childish. It's fire energy. Someone even looking for options on how to invest their money or uh, build a legacy, build a business. There's a big loss. Someone lost. Big. Big money. Big loss. What? All right, for my Pisces. Let's get one specifically for the Pisces. Okay, four of swords in reverse. Someone is just, um, they're done with healing or resting, and it may be a father energy or Saturn, Capricorn. Um, but they're still not speaking. There's still a lot of inner turmoil, feeling stuck in your head even, you or them. Could be a Virgo or during Virgo season. 
I'm seeing 5'11", so it could also be Taurus's or something during that. Someone gets caught, they get stuck. It's like they wake up, they're done with needing to rest, needing to heal, but there's chaos in the mind. Why is there still chaos? Um, thoughts, these are all thoughts. This is almost feeling caught or trapped in your own thoughts, or there's there's three there, so other people's on how to do this. Why is Hangman here? Someone gets caught, or they get stopped to see a different perspective, because Hangman's upright. The, I saw that as High Priestess. I was seeing which way she's gonna come up. Someone gets caught, someone tells someone secret. The lot of Virgo energy problem with this, High Priestess. It's a cusp Virgo Libra or something. High Priestess in reverse. Mm. Someone's not in tune with things. Okay, I'm also seeing this as not taking the time away to connect with the divine, uh, your angels, guidance. This is a meditation. What is this? The devil, so dealing with Capricorn, but trying to release toxic things. Let go of things that are toxic. The devil, releasing a devil, releasing Capricorn, releasing fear. What is this about? Someone is very unapologetic. Their emotional manipulation and drinking. I feel like what is being shared, they're not in tune. Clearly, why is the five queen of coins? So a lot of Virgo right there. It could be Capricorn, it could be Taurus, but I just, the feminine is upright. Okay, she, okay, I got the, wow. Okay, okay. And another dynamic here. Someone's coming in and this queen of coins is communicating quickly. A lot of information going to be coming in. You're getting messages multiple people, or this is multitasking. Queen of Queens knows how to create wealth. Um, there's Aquarius energy, so you got the Aquarius here too. So you, this is hopeful communication, that things can be healed. We can fix it. Um, if there's something with your finances or whatever this is, knowing how to create stability, wealth, multitask. She's upright. And there's hope and healing. Okay, so whatever this is, it's. I feel like this is about Capricorn has done healing for some of you, feminine, a feminine Capricorn. Um, or they're just this communication that's going to come through is gonna. It's gonna be like they're gonna be able to help. It's like teamwork or something, because there's so many people here. It's like seeing the star. Do you know, like they're all looking towards a star, they're looking towards hope. Oh, literally, the name might be Hope, and it could be Taurus in that case. Fascinating, looking towards you, even, or you look towards them. So, it could also be Virgo, so multiple Virgos. Someone gets stopped. Because someone communicates something, shares something. And there's, it's trying to spin this around. Saturn is upright, even. There's done resting, healing. I'm going to get crystals now for this. I see Azure, right? Get laser focused. Yeah, okay. Pisces, Cancers. Getting laser focused. Especially on... Um, material wealth and your finances. Um, Azurite. Wow. I'm going to open and ground yourself. Hematite. Wow. So this is like, really, let's, let's get it down to business. Stay grounded, Pisces, Cancers, and get laser focused on what you want, doing the details of it. Um, 
Very, uh, these are good. Okay. This is a daily inspiration for the Pisces look specifically. So there is definitely Aquarius energies coming through. So let's get one over by the Aquarius and Shungite. Detoxing your life and getting laser focused. Pisces, detoxing your life, cleansing. This coming in, this, because there's kind of a tower, a shocking moment, something you didn't anticipate. But it's part of a detox, a cleansing of your life. Um, and it helps you to get focused on your success, on happiness. Maybe you give inspiration to others even, you know. Um, help them with their dreams. You could come off very um, logical. That makes me think of that song. Logical song. Huh. Is, is that super tramp? Who is that? I think so. Okay. Ace of Cups in reverse, though. This is not about my or about love. This is not about this is being like honest, truthful, realistic. Um I know that it would this isn't a love reading, clearly. <laughs> this isn't about focused on love. You have amethyst under there, trusting your intuition. Maybe you sense that there isn't love, a love energy from it. Trust your intuition, amethyst. That's even, this could be regarding alcohol, okay? Uh, detoxing from alcohol, drunkenness, getting clear, okay? And angel light, the A's. Support is all around you. Trust your intuition. Pisces, Cancer, support is all around you. Trust your intuition. Okay? Especially by the Cancer moon, Pisces moon. For you moons. Some of you, like, and then maybe Libra moon or Libra with uh, water moon. Okay? That's what I see. All right. Specifically, let's see what else. Is there any others? Let's see if those ones come out again. Oh, we got smoky quartz. You need to let it go. This is releasing baggage. There is something new, a new job, a new career. So there's deep personal strength and peace. You reach this valley and you can let something go. You have to let something else go or new to come in. Maybe it is a job or things like that. It's, it could just be emotional, smoky even. Oh my gosh, now we're talking about smoking. Detox. Hematite under there, getting grounded again. I find this really interesting, especially for the water signs, knowing that you, you've got to get grounded, that earth energy, that duality. Um, just like with uh, a Libra and Aries or Aquarius, Leo, there's that opposition, opposites. They kind of fuel each other, but they also can really bother each other. <laughs> but they're needed to find balance. Just the same as the earth signs need water, compassion, love. So this is kind of turning off those watery emotions and um, really being stern. Um, not, to the point, not letting your emotions rule you or being emotionally manipulated by others or yourself even be the bigger person oh my gosh so there is some forgiveness you got jade someone was jaded about something uh, libra energy in reverse for some of you um or during that season the 24th the shift 424 so even that's that's the taurus energy right aries taurus uh, smoky cords, let it go and be the bigger person. So this, if this is about money too, coins will be coming to you. Uh, and someone needs to let something go about a contract, a marriage, a ring, money. Maybe even letting, um, be the bigger person. Be giving, generous. Hmm. 
any of the phantom cords, embracing change, the phantom, the phantom of the opera. Very interesting. And then we've got get up and get moving, bloodstone. So Libra, um, there's some scorpionic, but Libra also got this too. And I'm bringing it up just because the Libra card is right there. So be the bigger person. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Moons, Libras. That's really what I'm seeing with this. Water signs. Like I said, there. I mean, there could be a little bit of Scorpio, but I'm going to set these off to the side. Those were the Daily Crystal Inspirations by Heather Askinosi. And it is about 50, it's a 52 card oracle deck for finding health, wealth, and balance. And if you're looking for that, you come to the right place. Finding balance. No, just kidding. Uh, and I think that's what this is understanding that is also about spiritual stuff and earthly reading real world things um, that we can physically see and create and hold versus things we just sense or feel right being the bigger person wow okay Let's see, let's see, where should we go? Let's get another crystal or an herb, 3113. No way, unicorns, Kate. You see, we're going to unicorns now. I love I love how this flows together and speaks together even, um, because immediately, this is this is a crystal, Lapidolite. Wow, Lapidolite is one of my favorites. It's so beautiful. It actually has, actually has lithium in it to help with balancing emotions. It's supposed to help with depression. And it's this beautiful lilac, and sometimes it has mica in it and a little shimmery. Breathe in your trueness. So that's the one that was under there. Um, so because I'm just going to not even jump into any more, I'm going to set that off to the side and grab the unicorn oracle. I might read Breathe in Your Trueness from the Crystallaries. This is by Maya Toll and Kate O'Hear. The Pedalite. Open it up to Laramar and Lapis. Here we go. 26. Wow, it's right next to Moonstone as well. So the Mohs Hardness Scale on the Lapidolite is a 2.5. It's very soft. And this says breathe in your trueness, unicorn. Let's see. I'm going to set it up there. It's so pretty. I also see, oh, underneath there, there's obsidian. Sharp and shadows. This is cutting through that shadow stuff. Lapidolite. Let's see if he'll stand up. The unicorn. Lapidolite's lilac luster is the stuff of princess dreams and fairy tales. Something in us rebels when we see it, thinking that can't be natural. But Lapidolite's tranquil tones are the real deal, not manipulated or man made. Don't doubt my authenticity and don't doubt your own. Lapidolite quips. Equips knows that being outrageous, outrageously beautiful or funny or smart, doesn't make you false. Wow. Shining brightly gives other people permission to shine, to show their authentic, multicolored self. When you're able to put down your masks, when you recognize the person you see in the mirror, your heart and spirit calm, and your soul takes a deep breath. Let Lapidolite support you in breathing in your trueness and basking in your outrageous spirit. So it's really saying you, you need to shine. Don't dull your shine. And it's okay to be outrageously beautiful or funny or smart. If that's, if that's your true authentic self. Hmm. I love that. It's very beautiful. Okay. Diana Cooper's uh, Unicorn Oracle. Let's look. The Oneness. Okay. Libras. If you're dealing with Libras or during Libra season, uh, I read this in the Libra one. So do watch that. I'm not going to read. Uh, I read it out of the book. And it really talks about trying to find this common thing in humanity um, in within strangers, people you don't know, and being trying to open yourself up with oneness of other humans uh, all and seeing those things and rose gold 
You got 20 and 42. 242 again. 26. Bathe in cosmic love. Soak up wisdom. So, so very soft colors. I'm actually, even though the jade is green and then we got the grounding. You got a lot of green and black getting grounded. Um, and then the heart, clearing out your heart, um, being the bigger person, letting things go. And then it moves to this soft pink, the rose gold, and the soft purple, the lilac, softens. Soak up wisdom, bathe in cosmic love. Cosmic love. Wow. Okay. So for the Pisces, Pisces, Aquarius energy, uh, whatever this is, this Uranus energy in particular, a unicorn message. So good for, okay, it looks like you're getting two and then fairy whispers. The unicorn portal. Oh my gosh. Because the fairy portal was opening too. And no way. These are crazy, you guys. I get so excited. <laughs> I really do. Uh, 38, 11. You got unicorn portal and look for the signs. And you, I, see this, I see the portal in the look for the signs. Um, no way. So th 8, 9, 10, 11. You got 11, 11. I'm all, you got 11, 11. And then 32, 6, 6, 11, 6, 4, 4, 6. 32, 3, 2, Pisces. <gasps> Sorry, I'm looking for the signs. This is my grandma's birthday coming through. <gasps> and, sorry, I, I get so excited and she's Pisces. Um, there's also grandfather passing away days. 3, 8. Some of you could be 38 or 32 or you were 11. Um when certain people in your family passed, the portal, the unicorns are spotlighted. Gemini for me always comes through as well because this is my mother, my grandmother energy. But Pisces 3-2, Dr. Seuss and 3-3. Three, three. Wow. Unicorn portal, Face, focus your light and listen for a message. Pay attention and expect an answer. And then when I haven't said, so it's 37 on the clock right now. We hit, so there's 37, 38, 11, 32, but also 3, 2, um, 1, 1, 3, 3, 3, 8, 3, 7, a lot of Pisces. And the final is Cosmic Ruby. Be, pay, be a peace ambassador and practice cosmic mastery. So ruby is passion too. And ruby will magnify anything. I want you guys to see these cards. These are so, so. I'm holding that. See the unicorn portal. You see the unicorn portal. And then the cosmic ruby, a peace ambassador. Ruby. Mm. You might have a niece. Uh, there's some. Uh, uh, there's names a little bit. Amber, and ruby. Star. Jade. Those are what I'm getting. All right, this fell on the fairy whispers. Shine your light. Shine your light. 39, 21. They call we fairies shining ones, for we illuminate the world. You two are radiant. Shine with love and light and feel the world change in response to the shift in your vibration. Shine your light, 1111. 
there's a scorpion on it. Clearly, that's not. I mean, so many people talk about that, you know, that spiritual awakening or something. Oh, seeing 1111. It's a, it's a portal. <laughs> well, there's a unicorn portal. Okay, what are you becoming? Sharpen shadows. We are one. Again, it's being spotlighted. Pisces, Libra, Cancers. So I'm bringing this up because Libra's had some heart healing to do, healing your heart. Um, and I see this in the rainbow obsidian and the shadowy stuff. Dark Knight of the Soul, Quaking Aspen, we are one. They're sisters even, some are sisters. Um, Rosemary, Rose, Aspen, oh my gosh, this is killing me. Hmm. These can also be names of, um, People, last names, first names, street names. But I already know. These are these are nieces and sisters. Libra. Crazy. Cancer, Pisces. Woo. Tolly? Tuli? Tully? Tulsi? Topaz. You are sacred. You live in abundance. Be yourself. The daisy and daisy. Persevere, dandy, dandelion. I'm seeing the photo in this spotlighted. This is like one of those, uh, you know, the Polaroid photos. Hey, uh, that's why my outcast just swapped in. Hey, yeah. <laughs> wow, okay, this is intense and this is crazy. It's 42 already. Um, I hope this has been um, I, uh, uplifting, uh, giving you some clarification, moving forward. I don't want it to get too much longer. That, no way, we got the emerald. There's so much about the crystals, guys, coming through with the unicorns. So you get the cosmic emerald and the cosmic ruby, 31, 3, 1. Create perfect health, access divine abundance. Wow. So I, I, even with this coin, like the queen of coins here, she has these crystals all over. There's a lot. So maybe this is really about you. You have wealth with these even type of things. Emerald, Ascension Flames, 27, 27, 227. Merge with light, ignite keys and codes. Merge with light and shine. You have so much, like there's the shiny, sparkly. <laughs> oh man, don't dull yourself. That's like the biggest message. Don't dull yourself. Hmm. All right. Thank you all so much. I hope you have enjoyed. This has been very beautiful. Bye-bye now.